Hi guys, we are a group of students of the University of Applied Sciences, Weinstefan Triestorf in Bavaria, studying bioprocess informatics. In this video, we take a look at the chaotic system, in particular gravitational system, of three bodies. Chaotic systems are quite complex and it is impossible to solve them exactly, but a numeric approximation can give us insight about the nature and behavior of the systems. So in this course of this video, we are going to talk about the physics underlying this problem, the problem itself, and some simulation results. Are you ready? All right, let's jump right into it. Let's suppose we have a situation with three bodies with the respective masses M1, M2 and M3. The distance between the bodies 1 and 2 can be represented by the displacement vector R12. Its magnitude is equal to the distance between the bodies. We can easily determine its unit vector, which has the same direction as R12 and the magnitude 1. With this, we have all the required values to calculate the resulting force F12 acting upon mass 2 pointing towards mass 1. Our first essential tool is Newton's second law of motion. Newton's mechanic model states that force equals the time derivative of momentum. Also, Newton's model tells us that the force experienced by the mass M2 due to the gravitational attraction of mass 1 is equal to the product of the masses and the gravitational constant divided by the squared distance. Since force 1 has a direction, we need to multiply our result with the unit vector from mass 1 to mass 2 and negate the whole expression because the force is pointing in the opposite direction. Here F12 is the gravitational force of M1 on M2, R12 is the displacement vector pointing from M1 to M2, X1 and X2 are the coordinates of the masses M1 and M2, and G is Newton's universal gravitational constant, which for the purpose of a simulation we will set equal to 1. Now that we understand the basic physics, let's get back to the real problem. According to Isaac Newton, two masses attract each other via gravity, so if we have three masses, all three of them will mutually influence each other. Therefore, we have to solve six force equations. Henri Poincaré was the first to notice deterministic chaos. It is called deterministic chaos since it isn't chaos in itself, but rather the extreme change of output parameters when the input changes by a very small amount. The three-body problem describes the motion of three-point mass particles under the mutual gravitational interactions. An instance of such a situation is for example the motion of the Moon around the Earth under the influence of the Sun. But if we would imagine that the Sun, Earth and Moon have the same mass, one of them would probably be kicked out of the system. We run a simulation of three equal masses with MATLAB and as you can see, the red body got kicked out of the system. Also, notice that the motion of the remaining two bodies is going into the opposite direction of the kicked out body, since the total impulse of the system must always be maintained. In order to implement a simulation in MATLAB, we had to calculate the positions of the bodies for each time step. We use two common algorithms for approximating the dynamical behavior of our bodies. First, we implemented Euler's method, but since it is not very accurate, we used the wrong Akuta 2 method for a better approximation. Two bodies in two dimensions orbit each other in perfect ellipses. As you can see, the result simulation with Euler's method shows an outward spiraling behavior. But when using the wrong Okuta algorithm, we receive the expected orbits. This is due to the way these methods approximate the next position of the bodies. Wrong Okuta is more accurate because it calculates the behavior of the bodies in a half time step and applies this behavior for the whole time step. 
Here you can see simulations with identical initial conditions applying the two methods. And as we said in the beginning, we cannot solve the three-body problem exactly. But with these numerical methods, it is possible to simulate the problem to get a better understanding of such systems. Thank you very much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed a little introduction to the three-body system. Thank you and goodbye.